Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is time for the Morning Mindset. Carrie Green here. I'm glad you're along for the journey today. As we're seeking to get our minds aligned with the truth of God, we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 30, verses 11 through 14 today. So if you've got your Bible and you want to look that up, please take the time to do that. While you're flipping those pages or scrolling through that app, I want to remind you about a new podcast that my wife and I are doing together. It's called God-Fearing Kids and the parents who raise them. This is for Christian parents, those who are desiring to raise their kids to know and love Jesus for all of their lives. You can find out more about that at godfearingkids.com. Okay, today, Proverbs chapter 30, verses 11 through 14. Let's just read through it. We'll come back and talk about it in just a moment. It says, There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. There are those who who are clean in their own eyes, but are not washed of their filth. There are those, how lofty are their eyes, and high their eyelids lift. There are those whose teeth are swords, whose fangs are knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, the needy from among mankind. Now this is a very interesting passage, because the writer does not seem, at first glance, to give us any kind of moral to the story or any kind of instruction based on these observations that he's made. He just makes the observations and leaves them there for us to ponder. Now, you may have noticed my title for this episode is Human Garbage. (laughs) Because what I see the writer doing here is he's describing some of the most despicable ways human beings can behave. The kinds of things we look at and we click our tongue at and we're we're just, we, we don't want to admit that human beings could actually do that kind of thing. And it kind of turns our stomach. But friends, what I think the author is trying to do is he's trying to make us all aware of how deeply despicable the human heart can be. And that includes our own hearts as well. You see, everything that he's described here is something all of us could fall prey to were it not for the grace and mercy of God. The goodness of God is what enables us to have any virtue at all. It's what gives us a mind and a conscience and an ability to walk a straight and narrow path or to uh, have ethics and morality. And so as we look at these circumstances, the first one, there are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. I mean, of course, there are strained relationships in families at times, many times because the mother or the father have not been the kind of parent they should be. Perhaps they were even abusive. But friends, he's talking about this proclivity we have to look out for our own and to become resentful, become bitter, become angry, and to take it out on others, even those closest to us, those who deserve our honor and who we're commanded to honor in the Old Testament. Honor your father and mother. Look at verse 12. There are those who are clean in their own eyes, but are not washed of their filth. So this is that capacity we all have for self-deception, thinking we're better than we are. And see, we have to be honest about these things. We have to recognize in these descriptions that we are in there as well. The third example he gives are people who are lofty in their own eyes. He he calls it high, their eyelids lift. So in other words, they're, they're looking down on other people. And he's saying this pride causes them to become people who mistreat those who are not as well off as they are. So their teeth are swords, their fangs are knives. They devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among mankind. So you see, this person is so proud, they're so haughty, they're so lofty that they become vicious with their words. They mistreat those who are not as well off as them and they become arrogant and an oppressor of sorts. And friends, again, he's trying to point out to us how pitiful the human heart can be and that it could be any of us who fall into these ways. And I find there in verse 13, perhaps the most instructive thing, these things are rooted in pride. How lofty are their eyes, how high their eyelids lift. And we must all admit that we have that same pride. We have the ability to express and to become every one of these examples of human garbage. And Lord Jesus, we are asking you to prevent us from that. Give us the humility, give us the grace, give us the strength that we need to be people of honor, people who honor others, people who express your heart 
for the people of this world, Lord. Give us your grace to be that today in our workplace, in our home, in our community. Give us eyes to see how you would have us show up in the world with compassion and love and honor for those people around us rather than taking advantage of them or mistreating them. Lord, make us shining lights, examples of Jesus Christ, those who honor your name and lift you high in the world. It's our goal to be that for your sake today, Lord. We ask it in your glorious name and because of your grace. 